That's a bass, Charlie Ray. Doing a little family fishing today. Came back here the other day catching these smaller bass, as you saw in one of the last Dockside TVs. So what I wanted to do was bring a little uh, Matrix Mini on a little mini spin and show you guys just how versatile this Matrix rod is, a spinning rod where it can do, you know, as you saw a few episodes ago, catching big sheephead pulling out the pollens. Now we're fishing very light tackle, catching much smaller fish. Oh, Blakely, you want to wave to him? Touch him. All right, another one. So the first one I caught, decent fish, great eating fish, about 11, 12 inches. You could keep this if you wanted. I'm gonna let him go, he's a little small. But that's really what's loaded back here. And that's why these Matrix Minis are a fantastic lure to uh, throw back here because it's a nice small profile bait, real easy for those fish to get their mouth around it. All I'm doing is just casting it a bank. It's got a little beetle spin on it. Oh, a little nibble. And I'm just slow rolling it back in. Great little lure to try to teach the kids how to fish with as it's just a simple cast and retrieve. So that's what we're trying to do is get them to there he is. Get them to uh, learn how to do a little cast and retrieve action with the Matrix Mini, catching small bass. All right, this pole's got the hot hand right now. I'll pass this off to Christy. Let her get some action out the back of the boat. That new Matrix rod, the Matrix Mini. I'm gonna switch to another rod here. All right, so these little Matrix spins. You're just going to clip it on like that there. We're using a little silver nickel plated one. Oh. I'm just going to tie a little polymer knot in the center there. So that's what it looks like. You want the hook facing the blade. And now I'm just going to attach a lure. All right, I'm going to go with the lemon head mini. Nice cash, Charlie. And that's it right there guys you want the lure facing the blade you're just going to slow roll this in now i got the matrix rod here now and the bait caster version this is going to be a little hard to throw i highly would recommend the spinning rod but again just wanted to show you guys just how versatile these poles are to be able to horse out big monster red sheephead Jackerbells, bigger fish out here, and we can still throw perch equipment to catch little small bass like this here. Red fish, blue fish. Blue fish, red fish, two fish, one fish. Another little rascal. I mean, just loads of action in here. Oh. Uh-oh, Simba's going to get a bite of that one. Loads of action in here. You got to weed through the little ones to get to the keeper size, but non-stop bites. Lots and lots of action. Just, oh, Chrissy's, is it on there? He just crushed it. Chrissy just had one hit it as soon as it hit the water. These fish are real tight to the bank. You got to keep that lure close to the bank. Got a little bit of grass up there. Oh, you thought you'd been casting left handed, it's girl. Mommy. <laughs> it's slipped out of my hand, too. Nice one here. Nice one. Oh, yeah. That's about as big as I see them back here when I'm fishing them in the summertime, especially with these littler, smaller baits. That lemon head mini. Here, Charlie, want to touch his eyeball? No. Come on, give him a little touch. <laughs> well, but I will touch it. A decent one there. I will touch, touch, touch his tail. Body. I just did. You got it. <laughs> All right, it's we'll really, keep this one it feels for the grease. Hard. I'll keep the net. <gasps> well, listen, you can go. Decent one. 
Get you one, Blake. We're in the hot zone right here. That's three in a row. I'm trying to get one, but I did it. Get you one, girl. You got to cast far. Cast all the way to the shore. And reel in fast. Not know what those are. Dragonfly. But they have wings. So I did not want those. Hey, girl. Alright, now reel it. Reel it. Wait a minute. One more cat. We got here. Oh, look at this, guys! A lucky surprise. What what kind is of, that? You don't know what that is, Blake? A flounder. Flounder. That's right. Remember, Flat daddy. Remember when you catch one and the crab trap and a peed? Huh? <laughs> we caught one in a crab trap and a peed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Flounder's like in the Matrix Mini. I don't need a net. I got him. I got him, girls. Can I have some? Look at that. Shrimp whiskers down his throat. Let me see. Come see. Look. He just okay. ate a shrimp. You can see his little whiskers I right can't. here. Look, 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 look. Look. See that? That's okay. shrimp whiskers. Uh, He's a hungry take little it guy. Off. I can't look. It's down his throat. Uh -huh. That's can what they eat knowing. I want to try to put it out. Hand it to me. It's so hot. Put him up. Put him in the well, girl. Put him in the well. <laughs> no. That one will make the box just big enough. Keep it open, girls. Shoot! I'm gonna shoot a hook shot. Oh! I was short. I need it. I need a little help. Get him in the net. Get him in the net. Simba's got him. Simba's got him. Just tons and tons of these little guys in there. Keeps the kids entertained. Charlie had one hooked earlier. Yeah. Trying to teach Charlie how to get one all by herself. In the meantime, let that one go. As you can see, they have a blast just trying to see if Simba, we're trying to, we need to teach Simba to put it in the net. Keep the rod tip high and reel. You got it. Look. Stand up, baby. Stand up. You got to flip it in the boat. Keep coming with it. Oh, it's a big one or what? I don't know. Come on, pick him up, girl. Pick him up. Up, 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 up. Biggest one in the day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't think? Second biggest. Yeah. All right. Good job, Char. Another little Hi. rascal. How about I can oh. get in the net? You want this one in the net? Oh, oh look. Chris has got one. Mommy, Double up. Double up. Get it in the net. Hurry right, before we lose it. Oh, there you go. You got it for me. I'm going to let this one go. Chrissy's looks a little. Well, that's up to her. This no, one's no, close. No. You Keep it. I'm keeping, we're keeping plenty, babe. I'm gonna wanna, go grab them. I don't want to keep them all. Some of them are a little small. And if they pull your tail down, these Matrix Minis are so durable and tough. The hooks we use, these mini jig heads, they don't even need a shank. They stay on there just right. Very, very tough plastic. Another thing these minis are fantastic for is night fishing, speckled trout. Absolutely wonderful bait. Where's my glow? Uh, the bottom? I got glow ones in here. If we're fishing at night, that's what I'd recommend, a glow one. We make a glow for nighttime. We haven't really been seeing too many specs on our light yet this year, but as soon as we do, we'll be shooting some Dockside TV videos doing that. What's up, man? Do the fishies glow at night? No, fish don't glow. We, we make lures that glow.
It's a little, it's a part of what you put in it. Put in the lure to make it glow. All right, so last time we were back here and I was by myself, we talked about parallel in the bank. That's really a great technique when you're fishing by yourself. But when you got multiple anglers in the boat, you're gonna need to back off a little bit so everybody can have a decent cast towards the shoreline. Now, I'm having to stay a little bit closer than I like right now because I'm trying to get to help the kids be able to cast the lure close to the bank. You know, it's kind of hard for them to make a real long cast as they're just learning. But you got multiple angler, anglers, you get a little distance off the bank so everybody can get a clear cast. And if you buy yourself doing this, I highly recommend getting on the bank and just throwing down it, paralleling it. Real fast, real fast, real fast, Carol. Get him in, get him in. Get him in, get him in. Whoa, yeah. you got one, girl. It's little. It, it is a little one. $10. Yep. Yeah. We'll let this one go. Ready? No. You want to keep that little one? Yeah. Did you keep mine? He's still, he's too little. We got to let him grow Did you up. Keep no. Mine? We'll catch his mama. No. Did you keep mine? We kept a few. We got a few. We let about half go and kept the other half. Did you Here, keep touch mine? him, Blake. Did you keep mine? Yes, Charlie. Hold it. Yeah, you can hold him. Hold him, but put your thumb right on his lip. I don't lip. like it. All right, hold him like that. Two hands. Give me this Reel ball. It up. Hold him. Like that. Let's go ahead and end it on that keeper right there. And I'm going to try to work on helping the kids catch one on their own. Again, catching these little ditch pickles, as we call them, little knothead bass, lots of fun. Great thing to get a kid hooked on fishing doing. There's plenty of these in the man-made canals in the summertime. As you saw, we were using the bait casting matrix rod by Fitzgerald and also the spinning rod. We're gonna be putting a coupon for the rods in your monthly bait box. Make sure to subscribe to that. On this episode, we were using the matrix mini on a little spinner and the mini jig head. Probably, this is probably the absolute best bait you could be using to catch these smaller bass like this. Chrissy's got one right here. It's an absolute. Oh, what you got? A big old perch? Look at that perch. Look, a different one, bitch. Oh. Got a shell cracker, I believe. A different type of fish. We want that one. That's a great eating fish right there. I think that's a shell cracker. But this, this bait catches everything. What's in here mostly right now is these smaller bass like this. Like I said, subscribe to the monthly bait box. Get your hands on these items. Get your hands on the coupon for the rod. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Catching Bass. And now, Perch. We got plenty of episodes doing this. Check it out. Make sure to subscribe to that. Until next time, guys, good fishing. Charlie, tell them bye-bye. Bye. Blakely, tell them bye. Bye.